signifies new beginnings, a rebirth, an awakening into the spring. Spring pays homage to our creator. The earth wakes up from its winter slumber, waking up in preparation for the new life, new opportunities, new experiences, new beginnings, and rising up into that new life in full expression. That's who we are. We're aspects of nature. We get to take this time to rise up, to say, ooh, what is it that I want to bring into this new year of spring, of birthing, in this time of rebirth, into the new life is an eternal promise of something greater yet to be. You know, every seed has its potential. And every one of us has the seed of potential within us. And it's time for us to remember and to go beyond imagining and to step forward into our trust with no tangible signs of solution. Let's think about that for a moment. No tangible signs of solution. You know, when I heard it's time to retire, it was like, okay. Now, I have absolutely no idea. I have an inkling of things. I have no idea where I'm going to go, what I'm going to be doing. I'm definitely staying here in Auburn. I love this place. But Easter reminds us of that. What is desiring to be birthed, to be renewed, to be changed in us? And Easter reminds us to trust in possibilities. Oh, let's breathe into that. To imagine solutions before there is even evidence of the solution. Yes? Yes. Yes. This is what living in and from faith is truly all about. And this is who we are. We are a faith-based community. We say, no matter what's going on, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to trust that something is there that enhances my life and fully gives it more reason and purpose. Yes? Yes. 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 Greater possibilities are being birthed, and Easter time tells us that. It's being birthed in our vision of creating a world that works for everyone. And that starts and takes form in our own mind, in our own thinking. Not somebody else's. In yours. It's our responsibility. Our vision and our thinking. As we each allow our faith to lead the way in response to our vision. Ah. How many of us have stopped and just said, my faith is guiding me to the perfect solution, the perfect outcome? Yes? yes. Yeah. Write that one down. Yes. Remember your gold nuggets. And it is done as we believe. Now, we've heard this before, but we need to bring it back and renew it in our own expression and life. It is done as we believe. If I believe that that's a terrible thing that's going to happen, then guess what? I'm going to get scared around every corner. But if I know that there's something really good waiting to be expressed and experienced in my life and in your life, then I'm going to walk in faith and trust. Yes? Yes. 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 So it's up to each one of us to trust in that unknown quantity of our life and to visualize our greatest good and to know that it is being birthed because this Easter time tells us it is. So I love Easter. It's like I get a whole fresh new start, a new egg. <laughs> new beginnings right now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. Now, new beginnings. So let's embrace what Neville Goddard's wisdom tells us. 
You never attract that which you want, but always attract which that which that which you are conscious of being. You never attract that which you want, but you we always attract that which we are conscious of being. Oh, let's hear that. If we say we're bad, if we say we're sick, if we say we're not, we don't know what we're doing, guess what? Hallelujah. There it is. So in this new birthing time of Easter, we each assume the feeling of the new. Assume the belief of an outrageously, outrageously perfect outcome for your future. For your day today, for your day tomorrow. In your vision, give birth to a growing, prosperous community, becoming a huge magnet, drawing even more people than we see here today as a new spiritual leader comes into this community. Yes, yes, yes. That's our job. And together, we cultivate the feeling that miracles and wonders are coming to pass in my life and in your life and the life of this community. That's what we know. And together we plant seeds of success and seeds of expectancy because our greatest good is on the way. Listen to that. Our greatest good is on the way. As I put this talk together, I got really excited. I'm looking forward to see what the greatest good that's coming into my life, but especially what's coming into the life of this community because I love this community. It's time. And so take a moment and breathe in. And if it's comfortable, I'm going to invite you to just close your eyes. And allow that breath to drop you into the vision state that is taking place here. And feel into this new environment. And together we line up with our thinking. Line up with our beliefs. Oh, we're a faith-based community. We live in the light and the love and the glory of spirit. So we stop in this moment and we breathe into that vision, allowing a deepening of our faith. Oh, no matter where we are in this moment, we can still go deeper and greater and more expansive. And I invite you to picture a wonderful outcome in your life and in the life of this community. Let it grow in your vision. Because we know together we are powerful in faith and trusting as we claim together greater good for FCSF. Our power is in one another, is together, as we hold this vision of a vital love-filled community with a new spiritual leader. So breathe into your vision and give it life. Even if you can't totally see it right now, give it life. We give thanks for where we've been. We've been good. We move through COVID, feeling the excitement. There's excitement in new beginnings for each one of us. And there's excitement in where we're not going. forward, we know the power of God is already at work as we each say yes to this vision. So just silently to yourself, say yes. 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 And allow the vision to grow greater. Give it permission Thanks in advance for all the good that is 
taking place in this community right now and in our future. And so take a deep breath. And together we say, and so it is. So it is. That's how we do it. That's how we create the atmosphere of that that is desiring to come into our lives. We don't have to know exactly, but we know that in faith we trust that 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 we believe, that that we have known, that's that we have learned in the classes here is what draws to us our greater good. Eric Butterworth's wise words say, all that you can be, you are right now. Hear that. All that you can be, you are right now. You cannot become a spiritual being or become a child of God because you always have been. Read that again. You have never been separate from your source. It was very interesting as I'm cleaning things up and moving things out. I was reading one of my old uh, books that I was writing in. It was in 2012. That person who was writing was really crazy. <laughs> she didn't know. She knew, but she wasn't living the fullness that she was never separate from the source. She had to keep remembering, keep being reminded. I love that part of me that was the secret. We're all the seekers. So the divine inheritance is not something you attain. It is something you already have. And as I was reading those books, I said to that person, I said, you already had it was in you. You just have to say yes to it. So tag, you are already it. Yes. Tag, you are already it. So no more excuses. Yeah. <laughs> she was really whiny then. Bless her heart. <laughs> but it's normal when we're in that space but as we're in that space, we have to say, wait a second, tag, I'm in, tag, tag, tag. And sometimes I'm full of it, <laughs> proud of it. Let Easter happen in your heart and let Easter happen in your life expressing. Jesus said, all things are possible with those who believe. So I have some questions for you this morning. Do you believe? Do you believe enough? to step out into a greater promise? Will you open to a bigger vision for this community? I know changes aren't always comfortable. However, it's up to each one of us to remember God's love and presence is more powerful than any change I don't know about you, but change never killed anybody. Why did she die? She changed. <laughs> so I invite each one of you to make, get new commitments, to renew your faith daily. Read something, the Science of Mind magazine, one of those books that I've got well marked up on the back table. Take time to meditate on your perfect self. That's for you. That's your gift to you. That's your awakening into this Easter time. Remember, there is a power in your words that you speak and in the words that you think. Uh, I don't know about you, but I get caught there sometimes. <laughs> so speak words daily of praise and victory in your life. Give thanks in advance and talk like you're sure that good is truly happening in your life today. Yes? Yes. yes? yes. Trust God to show you the way when you can't see it. 
because that's the excitement. That's the, the joy, the, the, the wonder of Easter, of renewal, of something growing greater than we've ever thought possible. So I invite us to commit today to plant your seeds of faith daily because I know together we move forward in greater unity, in greater faith, and greater trust. New beginnings. That's what this time of the year tells us. New beginnings in our steps of faith, new beginnings abounding and growing in FCSL in your life and in my life. Yes? Yes. yes. So let's take that into prayer. Ah, and so we just stop in this moment and we breathe deeply into that sacred and holy place that uniquely and divinely lives within each and every one of us. We are the beloved place where God shows up in its unique divine expression. This is what I know to be true. There's only one life and that life is God's life and it is unique and individualized as each and every one of us. We are that magnificent expression of the divine. I'm knowing and accepting that as we commit to our greater sense of unity and harmony within ourselves, that it expands in our physical bodies and our uh, etheric bodies and in the body that is uniquely expressing in and through and as each one of us, that there's a mighty and powerful healing taking place here this morning, right here, right now, as we each commit to greater unity and harmony in our faith and in our trust walking in every moment in this light of truth. This is what I know. I know and accept that in any moment where there's a need for a healing in your life or your family's life, that we call forth that miracle working power of God to renew, to strengthen physical bodies, minds, and hearts. And we call forth the hearts and the minds of the world to be brought into a greater sense of peace and unity. This is what I see for the world. But first, I must see it in myself. And together, we create a world that works for everyone. This is what I know. So it begins here first with me and with you. I'm knowing and accepting that everything is working for our highest and greatest good. And there are miracles yet to take place in my life and in your life and the life of your loved ones. So greater than what I could speak in words is already taking place in the mind of God because I trust this divine within me and within you and within this world. And I just allow it to be so. And so if you're in agreement, then please join me in saying, and so it is.